Hey there guys, listen, General here again with you. Um, and we're gonna have a candid conversation about some things. I had a conversation with um, a friend and, um, oh, she's sort of friend, I mean, you know. Um, she um, was talking about my comedy, gave me some, cause right now we're at the beginning stages and there, okay, let me stop, pause. This section, this session, you're not going to be laughing. I'm not telling you jokes. I'm not trying to make you laugh. I'm just telling you who General is at this moment. If you, and I don't even have, we're growing. Matter of fact, listen, we're growing every day. I've been doing this for about three months. And uh, I think we're up to like 115 subscribers, which is very minimal. But uh, at the embryonic state, isn't that how it happens? Uh, greatness has a star. Um, so I know we're going to keep growing because I have something very important to say to everybody, to enlighten everybody on so that they can make choices. Just like that. This is preacher guy. He comes on. He's doing all these quotes, right? I got a lot of stuff to say, too, for you to digest. And I know it's going to grow just because of that. And you, watchers, we're at the embryonic stage of this. I have no doubt that. We're going to grow. We're going to keep growing. So I'm taking this moment to talk serious because I had a serious conversation with um, a friend. Well, she's not really a friend. But, you know, she was saying that I like, I qualify like everything, right? I like the beer. I'm like, hey, listen, I'm, this is this forward thing. I, you're, you know, and she's like, get to it. Sometimes she has to fast forward. To get to the punchline, and I receive that. I receive that. So, I guess what I'm saying, YouTube family, and those, you know, I, I got you. Uh, but nobody is like commenting. I don't know if you're scared because your name is like show up. I I don't know because uh, I'm asking as we try to grow, and I'm using just like y'all are using me for slight entertainment. I'm using y'all too to collect data on how the algorithms work in this whole thing, you know, um, so, you know, because we need to get to the masses. Now, she also said that I jump a lot, and I agree, I'm like, I do, I'm bipolar, I, like, tell that, I want to be known as telling the truth, yes, my, and she said, when, you, you, when you're talking, you jump from, yeah, I'm, hey, I can't change, I can't change that, that's how my brain, matter of fact, guess what, Kanye West said, it's a superpower. Now, there was some slack from the mental illness community. It was like, you know, how can you say that? Because I have had some friends with the same disorder and I, actually a very close friend of mine. I'm going to try not to tear up when I talk about it. And I will give him recognition on oh, my leg. Hey, if you've been following, you know my leg is like messed up. Oh, you're going to get some... Um, Uploads from uh, Attorney Edwards. We went to the Franchise Expo. And I was showing off my gifts because I'm have been working and trying to get back into doing some stuff. We're going we're gonna to do some franchise stuff. So, but anyway, listen. Uh, this is Dominique. Yep, Dominique. Um, he was bipolar, committed suicide. Time back. He's a mutual friend of myself and Blake's. Um, and, and, and many others. Uh, so I, I, I don't take the illness lightly when I say that, uh, Kanye West said it's a superpower. What I, what I, what I do is, um, say that, um, uh, perhaps it's a condition that we're not familiar with, that maybe it is a gift. And it depends on each individual, how they can tap into it. Um, when they get a call in, it can be used for good. It can be used for bad. Um, so where I'm going with this is saying, you know, I, 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 I was aware of what, what Kanye was saying. Cause he used it as a superpower, his manic depression. If you feel familiar with bipolar disorder, it's, um, a situation where uh, like the chemical imbalance, uh, racing thoughts, um, uh, high energy, stuff like that. I do all that, like, in a moment's time again. Hey, look, you see how I just did that then? I'm like, hey, this energy, I'm trying to contain myself now and not tell that I'm, like, really, by quote, because I want you to take me serious. So, 
I'm fighting inside the little bit of fighting inside to say, hey, look, Bigelow, you look at, hey, man, I talked to you. Hey, shout outs to Bigelow. Hey, people go to Bigelow's. Bro, good dude. I think he's going to help me do some things. I want everybody to help me because I got something important to say. And I will clearly identify who I am um, before this is over. Uh, having said that, uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about mental illness and talking about how, you know, um, I recognize it. So I'm like at a stage now where I'm like, I kind of handle it. So if I'm not the perfect minister in saying this or that, I will say some things that are out of place. Forgive me. But I always try to correct it. And, and you know what? Um, I, I, I do, I mimic uh, ministers. I, I, um, I do impressions of like all, all of them. You know, Martin Luther King, Farrakhan, um, ministers in Jehovah's Witness organization. Um, I do a number of impressions of persons. Uh, um, what's the name? The white guy. It's always smiling. <laughs> you know, I, it's always smiling. And God tells you that, no, I'll do that for you. I, I got to work on that. I'm still working on that. Um, then Farrakhan, I like Farrakhan, man. Hey, listen, and when I just, Muslim, don't kill me. I'm joking. It, uh, uh, um, impersonation is the best form of flattery, as they say. So it's not, I would never say anything disrespectful because he is definitely necessary. Okay. Uh, having said that, having said that, uh, so... Yeah, I was talking about mental illness. I'm, I'm sharing this moment with you, you who are watching, and saying, this is me. Um, I want the job, and I promised, I promised to tell the truth. That's important. Um, telling the truth. Um, as the truth is understood by one. Right. Okay. So anyway, um, having said that, um, moving on. Who is General? I, am, I am General Thomas Mitchell Lyon. What Lyon? How you tell? You keep changing your name. And the people at the church, they was like, they don't be saying, "Who are you?" You like, are you General? What? I don't know if I call you Brother General, but you know what I'm saying. But I changed it to Lyon for a reason. I'm doing this for the comedy that I'm doing. That we're building together. You who are following me. You're going to be here. We're going to grow. Um, but um, no, I changed it to Lion because I actually believe that I could do this, right? Just like I haven't really like just the comedy that I get, but I, I got this, you know? Um, I don't think it's arrogant. I'm just thinking it's a belief system. Uh, sort of like when a lion, right? When a lion is in the jungle, he sees an elephant, who is smarter, bigger, and even stronger, right? Uh, that elephant sees that lion, he is mildly concerned, you know, like fearful, right? That's his mental thinking. And the thinking of that lion is like, you know, I'm going I'm to eat this mug right here. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I tell you, it's how you think. I'm just sharing it. This is how I think. Yeah, of course. Right now, at this stage, I'm three months in. Um, Dave Chappelle and what's his the other, uh, all of them, it's like they're bigger, stronger, everything, right? Um, but I truly tell you, I have the spirit of a lion right now, and I'm, I see them as lunch. And you just, those of you who are following me, guess what? You will be witnesses of this growth. Um, boom. Which is exciting for all of us. Uh, having said that, moving on. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, no. So the friend was like, yeah, your bits. So, and I want you all to comment to help us grow. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're committed, if you're still following right now, I, I apparently I have your interests. Um. I'm kidding. So, but yeah, I have your answer. So we we need help to say something. But I think that, and, and then, because I'm trying to, hey, listen, I got a heart. Being a Christian comedian um, 
it's, it, I got to work hard for like jokes, man. It's like not to offend everybody. Then I got to talk about everybody. The, the blacks, Jews, the A, B, C, D, E, F, J, H, I, K, L, M, N, P, community, and everybody. You know, I, I listen, I will work on, I'm like, like really not. You know what? The only gay jokes, I, I'm a, let, let me perform right now. Gay jokes. Okay. If I can ask God one question. And this is serious. This is this is very true. Let me be. Hold on, because I know I'm kind of smiling. Let me get serious. Show you how serious I am. If there was one question that I could ask, Bigelow, you laughing? Your I see you, bro. Anyway, if, I, if there was one question that I could ask God, right? If this is serious, I, I would I would say, hey, listen, I just because um, gayness. It's homosexuality. It's existed at, from long, a very long time, all in recorded history. The ancient text, the Bible, um, records activity. Men want to be with men, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it talked about women being with women. They, they like, caught on later or something like that. But So my question, though, my spiritual question to God would be, look, Gays have been recorded history like Sodom and Gomorrah. And if you're not familiar with the Bible, let me let me break it down. So a Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah was being destroyed, ancient Bible account. Okay. If you're not familiar with it. And um he's gonna destroy it because of the badness and the wickedness and the waywardness, okay? And in course of course included in what was going on was homosexuality. Now, having said that, okay, so God sent angels in to get locked because they were procrastinating, blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo. So uh, they went in there, and when they went in the house, some men uh, of, of the city came up and wanted to have sex because apparently these angels, look, they have materialized. They were probably finer than the world, right? I might even turn. I might see them like, man, I, I might try to do something with a gay man, with a, with a man. But I'm just saying, they, they probably look that good, okay? Now, having said that, Having having said that, but no, I wouldn't. But I'm just saying they they had to look. Uh, maybe they didn't have to look good. They that was just a desire to have sex with a man. I don't know. But the bottom line is the Bible account. I'm not making this up. Says that th those men went up to the door and said, "Hey, Lot, bring those men out to us so that we can have sex." And if you know the Bible account, Lot was like, "Hey, bro, look." He was re ready to give them his daughters. Like, "Hey, take them." They were like, "No, nah, we." No, we want we want them. So I'm thinking, you know, they they had to be super fine. I don't know, butt cheeks were like baby, but I don't know. I'm just saying they had to look. Well, no, if the bad thing, okay, look, we went back. Okay, here's the point. So, and as you know, I'm, I'm hopping. See, this was bipolar. My mind is um, uh, racing, and I, my leg is hurting, been hurt. Um, we went to the franchise expo. I want you guys to keep up with that. Exciting! I show my powers of business. And acumen there. Okay, so what was I saying?